Fine, fine. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and in my hands is the brand new Poco M3 Pro 5G. This is latest Poco's M3 device, the successor to the M3 that came out last year. Now, this is the mid-range entertainment fighter, as Poco will call it, and the device packs in a lot of cool features. It's 6.5 inches, it's got a 90 hertz display, which is great, especially when gaming, and it packs quite a punch. Now, in terms of uh, processors, this is running the, the MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G. So it's a 5G processor. And what does that bring to the table besides the 5G connectivity, which we all know and understand? It means 5G on a lower price point, uh, which is great, especially as we move in within these times. But it also means this device has some capabilities that you would enjoy. So we mentioned gaming, right? And that's the thing we do a lot on this channel. This device, uh, I was able to run Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile. And as I mentioned, you've got a 90 hertz display. And that display also actually detects when you're switching from something at higher, higher refresh rate or lower refresh rate. So for example, jumping to Call of Duty Mobile, it says 60 right there on screen because it's jumped to 60. Now, in terms of gameplay performance here, we're able to play at high settings. We couldn't go to the maximum, but that's fine. And during our gameplay sessions, we got 60 frames per second. Call of Duty Mobile played great. 90 hertz is better than 60, honestly, guys. So it's just great to actually navigate and play the game on a smooth display for a device priced like this. Now, PUBG Mobile, we're able to play at smooth ultra. Now, which is pretty good. Uh, and in terms of performance, it ran well. Roughly around 40 frames per second, I was able to go ahead and die constantly, which is something Daniel loves to see because he believes that I cannot play uh, PUBG Mobile well. That's probably true. <laughs> anyway, um, in terms of performance though, I think you're gonna see the right kind of performance for a device priced like this, and uh, I'm fine with it, I like it. Now, with that kind of performance in gaming for a long time, you need a decent sized battery. It's got a 5,000 milliamp battery, which is great. It also has a USB Type-C charging port, which is also nice, and it charges with an 18 watt charger. So you're getting fast charging for this. Again, for the price point, that's a good package. Um, now, the other aspect to the device, of course, is the cameras. Now, you've got an eight megapixel camera in front, because it's 1080p, and it's something I would not use that much. Now, the rear camera is a 40 megapixel camera. There are multiple cameras. There's also a macro lens, but the camera is decent. It takes decent photos in daytime, which is nice. Uh, in terms of nighttime photography, it is okay at the very least, not best. You do have a night mode with it, and the camera UI is nice, but uh, in terms of camera functionality there, you're just gonna get decent photos. Video is nice. Uh, as long as you're not walking around because stabilization is something that really isn't present. It's focused on those entertainment aspects that you tend to use and having a really good solid phone. So watching those YouTube videos, this works out great. If you're gaming for longer sessions, you've got the battery life to do that and you can handle a lot of the games quite well. Also comes with accessories like this case here, which is nice. So I'm, I'm glad that, you know, Poco continues that. And uh, it's great because it allows me to cover some of those smudges that I mentioned earlier. It's good to see that Poco is adding a lot into his line and uh, releasing more devices. I've covered quite a few on the channel this year. And the M3 adds to that, you know, including the, uh, the headphone jack, which is great. But I think my overall thoughts on this device, right, is that Poco is packed in a couple of things that I really do like, you know, from headphone jack, the battery, 90 hertz display, always lovely, fingerprint sensor on the power button. You know, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think about the Poco M3 Pro 5G. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.